hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber i really welcome you to this channel welcome back and if you're new here kindly click the subscribe button on your notification bell so that you get notification anytime i drop a video okay so today i will just dive straight into the topic it's not informal it's just about something i posted earlier this morning about relationships like when i say relationships i really don't mean uh affectionate one i just mean like you have uh, a boss at work, your friend, you will go to work together, like acquaintances, people around generally. So that's what I mean. So uh, the post is basically about the way we relate to people. I know it's an unpopular opinion, like my opinion. I know it's very, very unpopular, <laughs> but I'll share it anyways. So um, it's about this saying of like, when people do like the way people treat you is the way you should treat them or oh, okay energy yes that's the word that's what trending online now energy the energy you give me is the energy i give you back well my point of view is um i'm very i'm very deliberate about who i am i'm very conscious of what i become and i know that whatever a man becomes is a result of their actions over time so um this is why i strongly disagree with this if you're a good person naturally you will definitely have people around you crossing you like you be, the, the, people will cross their boundaries with you they'll like make you flare up and things like that they will offend you they'll do things that they are not supposed to do to you but if you're a good person you shouldn't let another person's action determine who you are like it's you or you've identified a bad person or they are not even bad necessarily they are just their temperament is just all over the place you've identified them you've known them to be like that and you being bigger person you being the good person you shouldn't allow that kind of person to determine who you are because if you keep giving back the same bad energy if you keep returning it back over time you become a bad person it's just as simple as that like when people the way you relate to people day by day eventually turns out to be who you become okay so it's just simple somebody does something to you you don't have the maturity or the consciousness to like handle the issue well you just you just um handle it badly because you feel because somebody is doing this da, 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 you want to do it back my dear so just like i said i'm a very conscious person i like consciously like check who i grow into over time i check it so i don't let people's um people's emotion or people's reaction or action mold me into who i become every day we decide we make choices we do things we relate with people these choices every day determines who we become eventually and if you are being good to people is you are not doing it for them you are doing it for yourself I said it again you are doing it for yourself like you really don't know the kind of thing it is when you get to your bed and you can sleep peacefully you don't have any issues with anybody you don't you don't you don't feel bad against anybody if something is uh infuriating because fine there's no way you won't get angry like it's not coming from a place of bitterness it could be from a place of concern or okay literally this thing I'm saying, don't just think I grew, I woke up in a day and I started becoming like that. I used to be a very terrible person too. Let me just say that I used to be very, very terrible. Like me, what I do is I literally just shut off the door in case people, once you offend me like this, you are gone. Like I don't even want to see you again, no matter what you do, no matter the, if you explain to me and the explanation is not okay by me, you are gone. Like you are literally gone. So, but um, eventually God opened my eyes to some certain things. You need relationships in life. You cannot just trash any, every, any and everybody that offends you. You are not perfect, so you offend people. So that's it. You offend people. If you have that consciousness that you are not a perfect person, but you are always defensive about yourself, nobody should offend you, nobody should cross you. 
you will see that you become a lone wolf like or it is just people your type that will be coming to you or you would not have a long lasting relationship like you would not have the capacity to build a relationship that lasts for a long time you keep cutting short important relationship and destiny relationships that can take you to places just because you cannot manage your temperament well so like I was saying, I didn't just wake up to um, all of a sudden become into, like turn into that good person. I deliberately decided I wanted to be for my own good, for my own peace of mind. And see, the peace of mind is just, okay, now I, I can't remember the last time somebody offended me and I can't sleep because of it or, um, no, if you offend me, I just look for a way to make it settle. I don't even care what you feel. I don't care if you don't want it to settle. I don't care. Okay, so literally, you, you, you I, I understand the, the place of you have to set boundaries and everything. Fine, there are some cases where you have to set boundaries. You cannot just tolerate everybody at every time. I understand that. But even while setting your boundaries, there are some peaceful ways you can make, you can set those boundaries. You, like, not setting boundaries and you are seeing the person you are bitter you are embittered sometimes people offend me and i don't even remember like i don't remember they offended me again like literally i i just developed some kind of amnesia for offenses i don't know how that happened but over time maybe like um after a week or so that's that's after i've forgiven the person or after we've trashed the issue out I just know that something happened between us. I cannot, even if I can remember, I can't give a detailed account. Okay, this is what the person said. This is what I said. I can't. I, I don't remember. So I guess that's a flaw too. And I'm trying to work on it to always remember detailed accounts of events, like in details. Okay, so like I was saying, you just have to be deliberate about it. There's something I do that I really want to share. So what I do or what I did along the line was at the end of each day i review my days i try to play again the recordings of how my day transition like the events that happened through the day my chat um the the way i spoke to people the reactions the action the way eventually like maybe somebody hurts me or something maybe somebody did something to me i try to replay my reaction and try to like review it and like talk to myself about how i could like I could have reacted better or give accolades to myself about how I reacted better. So I feel that it's just a conscious thing. If you're a good person, let me tell you, you're on the good side. Fine, I know the, uh, the gist out there is um, energy, return the energy, whatever they do to you, do it to them. No time for smiths. At the end of the day, like the world that we live in, could make you feel like you're a dummy or you cannot stand up for yourself or I don't know but don't be a bad person because somebody decides to be a bad person don't do that don't do that there is no way you want to get to in life that you will not need relationships there is no way and do not um, don't write write off anybody no matter what that person uh, has done to you if it's not life-threatening and, and delights don't write off anybody like decide to be deliberate I, there are lots of ladies that um they are claiming they are single and they don't like no suitor is coming or they're having failed relationship this could be some of the issues they have sincerely character how to manage relationship like somebody just offends you you just snap at the person you don't even know how to i'm not saying you should pretend now i'm not saying that but if you are a bad person or you don't react to issues the way you should you can work on it that's what i'm telling you you can definitely work on it don't say ah that's my temperament though anybody who will love me they have to love me for who i am no nobody will love you for even your mom and your dad they cannot love you for who you are if you get to a point they will kick you out of the house so you just have to work on yourself deliberately it's good for you it's good for your endeavors whatever you lay your hands upon is good for it you will have stability in your relationships you will have it you you'll be able to keep relationship for long even when god send helpers to you you'll be able to keep them and maintain them 
your angel will not pass you by and you are abusing the person or you are crossing the person just because of a little thing. Some of them are not little, but whatever the case may be, just always try to keep calm and relate good with the people. Then, um, sometimes we might want to like we are tempted to feel cheated when something happens we are tempted to feel okay uh am i the one that will be doing this all the time am i the one that will be doing this all the time i want the one that will keep doing it this eventually is the way you turn into a good person and you will see that it will get to a point that you will eventually like do it effortlessly you do it effortlessly you will do it effortlessly when it, come, it comes to a time. So, just like I said, you can start by reviewing your day, your day-to-day -day activities. You can start by doing that. Um, recently, something happened. Someone blocked me from uh, their WhatsApp. I've known for over a year now. I've known for over a year. And me and the person, we still have a good relationship. I know the person blocked me. The person is, um, okay, it's from the status, actually. The person says, I still allow the person to still see my status and we still talk like we are good. I don't have any issues about the person. The person is very close. So when it happened, when I discovered the person blocked me, I was like, why would this person block me? Like, I don't get, we don't, we are not fighting, we are not quarreling. But my submission was probably, I wasn't minding my business enough, maybe. So, but then I was not angry because we all have decisions to make in life if you decide to shut me out of your life for a reason i shouldn't be angry about that i shouldn't it's left to me to like read in between and know what's up so i i didn't at a point i wanted to be tempted to like block the person back like if, if you don't want me to see your status there's no way you're seeing my status but this review came in i reviewed it i spoke to myself i checked it very very well and i saw that there it wasn't necessary it wasn't when I see the person now, we smile, we talk, we, we are okay, like we are good. And I don't feel bad about, sometimes I don't even, most times I don't remember. I don't remember the person blocked me. I can't remember most times. So it's just once in a while, maybe there's an event and I'm like probably seeing it somewhere else and not the person's status. That's when I remember, okay, this person has actually blocked me. I can't see. I don't feel bad about it. But some of us, we just, some of these light issues, we just take them and we just like, and some people is in their blood. They like wahala. <laughs> no matter what I say, they, they always like wahala. If it's wahala that is okay for you, mm -mm, keep doing it. So, but for the sake of persons who are deliberate about working on themselves, like you can't even be in marriage and not know all these things now. You can't be in marriage and not know it. I'm not saying you should be a fool for people. I'm not saying you should lie down on the floor. People should keep tra um, trampling upon you. There are some times where you have to like make your point known and you have to like um, set some things straight. Yes, I know that. I know that. But then, even while doing that, you can still do it, do it with um, an utmost level of maturity. There are some people now, if um, they are supposed to like get a promotion and they tell them, this is the person you are going to meet, they cannot go and meet the person because they know the last event they had with the person. Like, they know what transpired the last person because they did not... Uh, like live on a good note and if you are going to like break a relationship or end a relationship please when i say relationship on this video is not um an emotional relationship now just acquaintances and friends so if you want to live if you want to leave a relationship don't live on a bad note this is very important don't spoil any i've had relationships that ended badly i ended badly even you know i'm still praying to god to help me know how i'll like go about rectifying it because they are they are actually important relationships to make but i ended them badly because i was not um I, I was not a good person i didn't know like i didn't know how to handle issues but when i became a better person at least i've had i've been able to have some relationships now for like five years six years and the likes and we are good we are fine issues are happening but then we are um we are trashing it out and i understand that some persons they are impossible there is no way you trash out issues with them sometimes i don't discuss issues with people sometimes so this is just about you can let me know your view to if it's um, energy energy whatever you do is what i give to you whatever some people they are so petty to a point that 
they count the time their friends visit them. Like, I don't, like, how? Okay, she has visited me three times. I can't go to her house because she didn't return the visit, not even I visited her five times. She, did not, she has not visited me up to five. Some people are that petty or phone calls. It could even be phone calls. Ah, this person did not call me, so I'm not going to call the person. Ha. It's not good though. Let me just tell you the truth. It's not good. It's really not good. And some persons too, you know the way the world, the country is. So for some persons, it could be like um, their outburst could be from a place of frustration. You don't know what somebody is going through now. A frustrated person, you now want to give, return the energy back to a frustrated person that needs love, that needs care, that needs to be shown that um, there's a way out of some things. So you don't know what people are going through. So and another reason some people want to be kind is because they just they want they want a, they need a reason to be kind. Like that's why some people are bad. Another reason why some people are bad is because they need a reason to be kind. You want somebody to be kind to you before you are kind to them, or you want to need something from somebody first before you are kind to them. It is not a good attitude. It is not right. So try and be conscious and um like make conscious and deliberate effort about these things change your character change your attitude i'm not perfect i'm still working on myself but you can be better you can be a better person it is not every time violence <laughs> it's not every time violence so um i've shared what i do i've shared my own um my own method how i review my day and you can get a notepad to do this review you can really get a notepad and write everything inside so this is the end of this video you can share your comments with me um your views with me in the comment section like the video and share so share your views i really want to know what you think about this um my view and thank you for watching this video um see the next video again thank you